The workplace watchdog is testing its powers to prosecute employers that discriminate against pregnant workers. The Fair Work Ombudsman has filed a case against a Sydney printing firm in the federal court. Carl Herr reports. This is the modest printing business at the centre of a legal battle over the rights of pregnant women. Well, it is an historic legal proceeding. It's the first time that there has been a prosecution by a federal government agency in respect of pregnancy discrimination. The company employed 36-year-old office worker Jiung Chui Ye, who fell pregnant last year. According to the Fair Work Ombudsman, she was warned that she might not be able to return to that role after giving birth. Later, there were complications and the pregnancy was terminated. But someone else had already been hired for the office job and Jiung Chui Ye was shifted to packaging duties on lower pay. She protested but was allegedly told that her pregnancy had caused a lot of inconvenience and that she must bear the consequences of this. I feel sad when I hear that and unfortunately as I travel around Australia I hear that from a not insubstantial number of women. The case coincides with a national campaign about the rights of pregnant women at work but the crackdown hasn't been welcomed by small businesses. 99% of small businesses are compliant. Uh, it's just a, a small number that aren't. And I don't think small businesses should be included in this at all. Women are entitled to um, be treated fairly when they are pregnant, irrespective of what size of organisation they work in. Attempts to contact the company involved were unsuccessful. It could be fined more than $230,000 if convicted. Carl Herr, ABC News.